All right, welcome to uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Uh, I've been looking for an excuse to replay this game. And, uh, you know, since I haven't played it for the channel yet, it seems like the perfect excuse to play a game that I played a lot when I was younger. Now, obviously not Brilliant Diamond, because I wasn't out, but back when uh, Pokemon Diamond, the original, came out, I played the crap out of it on the uh, 3DS. Hello there, it's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me Pokemon Professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? You know, I just realized it. it they, they never really touch on the fact that, uh, besides telling you not to go in the tall grass, they never really touch on the fact that there's a bunch of wild Pokemon everywhere with superpowers and how dangerous the world would be. I mean, I guess, you know, it is a kid's game, so there's that. But you know... I don't know. It just doesn't seem that crazy to touch on the danger. Your name is Zeons. Yes, it is. Okay, so you're Zeons. For the game, sure. Uh, a fine name that is. Thank you, I appreciate that. I agree. Now, this boy here. I believe he is your friend. What might his name be? We will name him Sam. Sam, is it? That's your friend's name? Yes. Alright, Zeons, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on and leap into the world of Pokemon. Very first thing we need to do once we get control is change the text speed. I don't understand. Everybody always changes it to fast, so I have no idea why they don't just default it by now. I mean the Pokemon guys. Despite the exploration team's best efforts, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored red Gyarados failed to appear even fleetingly to the crestfallen team. That concludes our special report, Search for the Red Gyarados. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. Cool. I love that my TV just turns itself off. Like, like imagine if real life was like that. Oh yeah, I don't care about the Pokemon basics. I keep forgetting there's no potion in there anymore. Yeah, let's just get that done. Uh, sure, we'll just go with the red window, why not? And all of that can stay the same. I'm just going to turn the music down a tiny bit because it's a little bit loud in my ear. Now, to be fair, the reason it's loud in my ear is because for whatever reason, if I, uh... Do I have a potion in my bag? No, I don't. So you just don't get the potion anymore? Whatever. Uh, yeah, the reason it's loud in my ear is because I have to plug my headset into my capture card rather than my Switch itself because it'll just lose the audio of the, of the game if I plug it into my Switch. So I have zero control over the volume, which kind of sucks. Zeons, Sam came calling for you a little while ago. I don't know what it was about, but it, he said it was an emergency. Well, then you would think you would pay attention to what it was about. You're a bad mom. Oh, yes, yeah, Zeons, don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. See what I mean? They touch on it right here at the start, very start of every game, but then they never go into the specifics, you know? Like, yeah, there's fire-breathing dragons everywhere, you know? 
It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so yeah, rub it in, Mom. Thanks. When your mom is secretly the jerk. I can't run yet, so that kind of sucks. Thud. What was that about? Oh, hey, Zeons. I'm going to the lake. You should come too, and be quick about it. Okay, Zeons, I'm finding you a million polka dollars if you're late. Oh, jeez, forgot something. So, technically, I could leave right now and you'd owe me a million polka dollars. I mean, I can't because the game won't let me. But, you know, in real life, I could. I just want to point out that his mom looks blitzed as fuck. Like, she looks like she's done nothing but smoke dubers all day. You're welcome. Now you'll never unsee it, too. I better take my bag and guidebook, too. Oh, hey, Zeons. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a 10 million in Poke Dollar fine if you're late. Seriously, his mom looks like she never stopped smoking anything. Or I guess maybe she's just that stressed. He's that stressful. <laughs> hey, you saw the new that news report on the was on TV, right? You know, search for the red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in the lake. That sure got me thinking. I'll bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that in it too. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll go find a Pokemon like that. I mean, fair enough assumption. I love how my character's just like, oh, let's go to bed. <laughs> I agree, character. Let's go to bed. All right, to the lake. Let's find us a red Gyarados. Good luck. I don't think... Can you even get Gyarados in this lake? What's going on? Don, Professor, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side either. Rowan, hmm. I may have been mistaken. Yes, you were. Something appears to be different than it was before, but fine. It's enough that we have we have seen the lake. Don, we're leaving. Don, Professor, how are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh after being away for four years? It must be exciting again. Hmm. There is one thing I can say. There are many kinds, or many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in re regard to our studies. Excuse me. Let us pass, please. I beg your pardon. We'll be on our way. Okay, bye. What was that about? Those two. Huh? Zeons, let's check this out. What's that? Don't go into the tall grass? Yeah, dipshit. No problem, no problem. We won't be in there long enough for a wild Pokemon to come out. That's not how wild works. <laughs> it's a briefcase. Those people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try to return it, but who were they? I heard them say Professor. Yo, what's up, bro? What? P Pokemon? What's going on? Oh, he's got like nothing in his suitcase. Look, these are Pokeballs. Let's battle using po the Pokemon in them. Which one do you want? I will go with my Turtwig, buddy. Gotta have the Turtwig, man. And we'll just tackle him to death, because there's nothing else we can do. There we go. Two hits isn't bad. Oh, hey, we got a female Turtwig. I don't know what the percentage is, but usually the starters always end up being male. 
Wah! Your Tortuga totally rocked! But my Chimchar was way tougher than yours. They're both level 5, dude. They were other people's Pokemon, but we had to use them. Those people won't mind, will they? I mean, I don't know, probably not, but they could be dickheads. They might hate you, you know? It would all depend on the context. Oh, there's the briefcase. The professor would have been furious if I had lost it. Huh? Oh no! Did did you use the Pokemon that were in here? You did? Oh my gosh, what's the professor going to say? This is so not good. I'll take the briefcase for now. Sure, enjoy. What was that about? You just heard what it was about. Bro, your, your comprehension skills need work. I don't know what's going on, Zeons. Let's get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt from that battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. Really? That That's awful, because my Pokemon's fine, bro. Did he, did, or she, rather, even take damage? You go ahead. I know we have to return these Pokemon. They're not ours. But I want to spend just a little more time with this little guy. I mean, fair enough. Nope, not the bag. Pokemon. Thank you. Yeah, it didn't even take any damage. Uh, defense up, special attack down. That's okay, I think, because Turtwig is mostly a physical attacker, if I remember correctly. So that's okay. Alright. Hey, it's those people. Is that old guy staring at us? Yeah, no shit. We used his Pokemon. Hmm. I heard from Dawn that you used our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Hmm. Turtwig and Chimchar. Hmm, I see. That's how it is. Dawn, I'm going back to my lab. Bye. Um, uh, okay. Professor, please wait for me. I think you should visit our lab later. Okay, see you. Bye, have a beautiful time. What was that? all that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And didn't he want his Pokemon back? Zeons, we should go home too. Speak for yourself. I want to leap. What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that both you and your Sam are unharmed? The professor mentioned... Or per, sorry, the professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sand Gem Town. What an odd name for the town to be, because it's not in the desert, right? Like, I don't know, whatever. I've heard that he is well known for his studies on Pokemon. I hear he's also quite intimidating. Zeons, I think you need to pay him a visit in Sand Gem Town. Yeah, yeah, send me there after you tell me he's intimidating. Yeah, like a 12-year-old kid is going to be like, yeah, sure, I should do that. Uh, you need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his, this Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he will understand. Cool beans. Oh, I know, Zeons, put these on. You received a pair of running shoes. Going to Sand Gem Town is like a little... It's like a adventure in itself, right? Not really. It's literally just a hop, skip, and a jump away. Uh, with those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. I'm good on that. I understand how running shoes work. Well, isn't that just nifty? Alright, bye. Uh, am I supposed to go see stupid first? No, I don't think I need to. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hi. I was trying to go get a potion game. A Badoop. Perfect Badoop. PB. Same as always. For now, we'll just tackle him to death. I need to turn the sound effects down a tiny bit after this battle. Because they're a little bit loud.
Yeah, yeah, give me a potion. Thank you. I appreciate potions. Oh. One step and I got a battle. That's a speed EV, so that's not bad. I don't know, I try not to pay attention to the EVs and IVs and stuff, but it's the, it's the kind of thing that once you learn about it, you can never unsee it. You know what I mean? It doesn't really matter, because, you know, you, you can beat the whole game with bad Pokemon. The only time it really matters is in competitive PvP, which I don't bother with, so... Oh, there you are. Please, come with me. The professor is waiting. This is it. Our res Pokemon research lab. Let's go. Thud. What the? Oh, it's Yuzion's. That old guy. He's not scary so much as he is totally out there. Ah, it doesn't matter, Zeons. I'm out of here. See you later. Bye, bro. Wow, what was that? Your friend... Sure seems to be really impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. Yeah, we call that ADHD. I would know. I also have it. Finally, you've come. Zeons, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. Sure. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alright. Alrighty then. I'll give that Turtwig to you as a gift. Thanks, bro. Now, uh, Sirius, would you like to give it a nickname? Uh, sure. Uh, we'll name it Tina the Turtle, because why not? Hmm, okay, I see. Are you happy with that nickname? Yeah, sure. Your friend Sam told me what happened at the lake. I heard you battled very well, despite it being your first time. And from what I can see, there is a growing bond between you and that Pokemon. Though it is still young. That's why I would like to entrust you with Turtwig. I'm so glad you're kind toward Pokemon. You literally don't know that. I could be the biggest Pokemon jerk ever. I literally just got it two seconds ago. If you weren't, I'd have to. Oh, I just can't say it. <clears throat> Let's move on to the main topic. There's something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly uh, exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in, Sin in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. That is why I wish to ask you... Or this is... This is what I wish to ask of you, sorry. Uh, I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Sure, I don't have a choice. Hmm, good answer. You obtained the Pokedex. I really didn't have a choice. The Pokedex is a high-tech device. It will automatically record the data of every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Zeons, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. And since I have Pokemon Home, I can probably do that. Dawn, I've got one too. When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? Um, I felt like I wanted Pokeballs and potions. Uh, I've lived for 60 years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go! Zeons, your grand adventure begins right now. The Pokemon that I used for the first time was Piplup. If you had chosen Piplup at the lake, we'd have the same Pokemon now. We wouldn't because the game wouldn't allow it. Not that it matters, but anyways, I'm Don. I also help the professor add pages to the Pokedex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, that's all. Oh girl, you're very wrong. I've played every Pokemon game known to man, so I have a huge head start on you. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Zeons. Okay, Zeons, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and as uh, the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. 
This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. It's the place that heals the Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. The building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Zeon, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it bother you. I won't. Oh, that's right, Zeons. Don't you need to let your family know that you're going to help Professor Rowan with the Pokedex? You may need to travel pretty far, so I think you should let someone know. Oh, but before you go, heal up your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. It will be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye now. Now for my least favorite part of the game. Going to get this stupid hat. Welcome home, Zeons. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick rest, dear. Everyone's all healed up now. What's up, Zeons? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big? Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Yeah, just send me into a world full of Pokemon with superpowers with absolutely no chaperone. That sounds perfectly good. Oh, I know, Zeons. I've got something that you'll find useful. You obtained the guidebook. It will not be useful to me, thank you. That guidebook, take a look at it when you are curious about something or have questions. During your adventure, you may find an answer. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. That's not how that works, for sure. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, Zeons. I'll be all right by myself, dear, so you go in and enjoy your adventure. Uh, when, you ex when you are exposed to new things and experiences, new sensations, it makes your mother happy too. But please come back sometimes. I would like to see all the kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear. Yeah, I don't care about the guidebook, thanks. Excuse me, is my little Sam here? Oh, no, he's not? Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure, and then he bolted. Yeah, that's how AD, that's how ADHD works, man. You're, you're super hyperactive, you hate sitting still, you want to hurry up and do everything. Uh, he's so headstrong and reckless, I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry, Zeons will deliver it to him. Won't you, Zeons? I have no choice in the matter. Oh, really? You do that for me? Zeons, please take this to Sam for me. You obtained the parcel. You put the parcel in the, the key item slot. Bye bye, Zeons. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he would probably head straight for Jubilife City. Okay, please take that and that to my Sam. I, I really don't have a choice. No! Fuck your stupid hat, Mom! Oh, Zeons. You're forgetting something important. No, I'm not. I hate the hat. Yes, that hat did always did suit you well, Zeons. It doesn't. I hate it. Now off you go. I mean, I know I can get different outfits when we get to the four cities, so no big deal. But I still hate the hat. I mean, not to say that you know this is the internet, so I have to say uh, as a disclaimer, I'm not hating on anyone who likes those kinds of hats. I just personally don't like them. I'm just gonna slip in here real quick. Buy a couple of potions and whatnot. Oh, I can buy Pokeballs too. Nice. Let's grab 10 lows. Then we get a free Pyramid Roll. So we will grab some potions. We'll grab some antidotes. And some Paralyze Heals. And then we'll be broke. But we'll have items. Alright, deuces. Later, store lady. And now we get an unnecessary tutorial about catching Pokemon. Oh, that's right. Zeons, I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. 
I'll demonstrate how to catch one, so just watch me, okay? Yeah, I've literally done this a million times. Badoop. Okay, its HP is down, and it's time to catch it. So, yeet a Pokeball, and let's get this over with, lady. I got things to do. Places to go, Pokemon to catch. She caught the Bidoof. Kiggle, see? Isn't it neat? Actually, it's better to lower your target, lower your target's HP more than I did. It really isn't. So I found out a while back that you actually don't get any more of a bonus from bringing the help from orange to red. It, it doesn't matter. The only like once it hits orange, that's the best catch rate. And then obviously, if you put it to sleep or paralyze it or whatever. It's important to get the Pokemon's HP down as low as possible. A healthy Pokemon is very difficult to catch. Oh, Pokemon also get easier to catch if you make them sleep or something by using a uh, Pokemon's move. Okay, Zeons. To get you started, I'll give you some Pokeballs. She just gave me, I think, was it 20 Pokeballs, I think? I don't know, I don't remember. Uh, if you have lots of Pokemon with you, it'll be a safer on long trips. Plus, it'll be more fun having your Pokemon friends along. Okay, I need to go and get going. Bye-bye. Bye, bitch. Go away. Um, so... Yeah, she gave me 20, because we bought 10. I just want to get all those uh, exclamation points out of the way. It triggers me. Um, we're going to try to catch a Shinx that has Intimidate here. It would be nice. One, because, you know, Intimidate will lower the attack of our uh, opponents, so that in and of itself is good. But two, because Shinx is a good Pokemon. Can you not do that? I don't appreciate that. I really don't appreciate you stalling. Meh. Level up! Okay, must have really good health IVs. Special attack is awful, but we know that because of his nature, or her nature, my bad. Learned leafage, okay. Cool. I think that's like a different razor leaf or I don't know, I can't remember. Doesn't really matter. Have Intimidate, please. Do me a solid. Nope. Alright, well, you can die then. Ah, uh, yeah, because all of the ones that don't have Intimidate have uh, Rivalry, which is whatever. I would much rather have the reduce the attack of any Pokemon compared to the, you know, raises attack when you're fighting the opposite gender. Come on. Okay, I'm alright with that. Speedy EVs are fine. Turtwig is slow, so it's not like she don't need them. A level four? Holy crap. Okay, we're speed tied. I got a crit, that's nice. I don't mind crits. I don't get them very much, so... 
I don't know, I have awful luck with video games. There we go. Oh, so close. So close to a level. That's actually good, because that means we could get more EVs before we level. That's the goal. More EVs, less levels. <laughs> Ideally, you want to max out all your EVs before you level. But we have no way of doing that, so all we can do is do what we're doing. Can you stop that? I would greatly appreciate it. You're just gonna spam growl at me? It's kind of annoying. I mean, whatever, because he's gonna die, but whatever. Okay, that's a pretty good level up, besides the speed, but, you know, whatever. Probably get a bad speed roll. Which is fine, because Turtwig doesn't have to be fast, it just has to have good defense and attack, so whatever. A Badoo, alright, that's HP EVs, so... Fair played. I would like my Shinx, though. I would appreciate it. The bad part is I don't even think it's a rare, uh, a rare chance, right? Like, I think it's like 20-some-odd percent. I know, I know there's three or four Pokemon that can spawn in the grass here. A Shinx, please. Or Starly, I guess that's the same thing, right? There we go. That's that. Now give me a Shinx with Intimidate, please. Come on, man. I mean, it doesn't surprise me. I was I'm playing through uh, Pokemon Crystal for the channel, and I spent a half an hour looking for a shelter, and their spawn rate is like 40-some-odd percent. I just have awful luck. RNG Jesus hates me. Okay, intimidate, please. Thank you. Okay, now we just tackle her one time. Okay, we tackle her twice, because she can take it. And pray to RN Jesus that we don't get a critical hit. Okay, there we go. We're good there. Alright. So now, we eat a Pokeball at her. Click. Thank you. Well, there we go. We have our Shanks with Intimidate. Uh, Shanks is... Oh, there it is. Flash Pokemon. All of its uh, fur dazzles if danger is sensed. It flees while it, the foe is momentarily blinded. Oh, cool. You will be fizzles, my friend.
All right, there we go. And I don't really have to worry about putting him in front. Or her, my bad. Oh, that's not a super great nature, but... Whatever, um... Nine, so... All right. It'll be fine. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, actually, let's go heal. Just because everybody's hurt. Halfway, so we might as well get a quick healage in. There we go. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. You know, I never could decide whether the uh, nurses at the Pokemon Center were wishing ill will on my Pokemon or wish hoping to see you again, because if they didn't see you again, it means you didn't care about taking care of your Pokemon. You're a Pokemon trainer. I happen to be a Pokemon trainer. Our eyes met, so we battle we must. Not really. We, we could just go about our day. Like, is it written into the laws of the Pokemon world? Send out Starly. Alright, whatever. We don't have a lightning attack right now, so we might as well just have Tina tackle it to death. That way, uh, Fizzles will get less XP and more EVs. you not do that? I appreciate it. There we go, that's Starly down. Alright, that's an alright level up. Too strong, too strong! Well, you are the first trainer, so... There's that. I spy with my little eye a trainer. Battle, please! A Bidoof? Okay. We can handle a Bidoof. Tackle won't hurt us. There we go. The dupe is down. Oh, two zeros. That's awful. I think Fizzles is awful, but Fizzles learned Thunder Shock, so that's okay. How about to send out Badoof? No, keep, uh,. Keep Tina in here. We will just... Beat up the Badoo. Oh, so close. Eh, I'm fine with it. There we go. Oh, boob, I can't win. Yeah, suck it up. Deal with it, girl. Disappointments are a part of life. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Huh, but I'm gonna win. Yeah, okay, sure. Arrogance destroys the footholds of victory, my friend. It's intimidate as well. It's okay. Alright, it's still pretty good damage. That won't do much. Yeah. Not worried about it as long as he keeps using that. And eh, we're still okay.
There we go. That's his Shinx down. Okay, that's a better level up. Still not good, but it's better. You're like, wow. I mean, you, you could just train a little bit. Grab this potion. Put the potion in the medicine pocket. Hello. Hi, Zeons. Are you catching Pokemon? Um, I think you feel a lot safer if you were to catch some more. Yeah, I'm gonna if you leave me alone. In Jubilife City, there's a, the trainer school, which, well, you know. Zeons, you should visit it. You'll get some tips on Pokemon. Oh, yes. Sam went to the trainer school earlier. Okay, bye now. All right, leave me alone. If you just leave me alone, I'd, I would have gone there anyway. I just would have got there faster. Might as well grab a quick heal. Alright, uh, first things first, I'm gonna go run and get the fishing rod. Just so I don't forget it. Because it's me, I will most definitely forget. What's up, bro? Yes, sir! An old rod is a good thing. You think so, too, am I right? That sounds sexual. Yes. Yes, good answer. We can be friends. Here you go. That's my old rod. That sounds very suggestive. You put the old rod in your... Yeah, yeah, I know. Whoops. Uh, nope, I don't need any tips on fishing, thank you. I understand how to fish. There we go. Now we've got that fishing rod, so we'll run to the school real quick and go talk to Dingus. Hey Sam, what's up, buddy? Hey, Zeonos, did you come to study too? Nope. I went ahead and memorized everything that was up on the blackboard. Dude, they haven't used blackboards forever. After all, it's the trainer's job to avoid having their precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? So, Zeons, what brings you here? You've got something for me? You delivered the parcel. So, what is this? Score! It's a town map. Huh? Why are there two in here? I like it a lot, but I don't need two. Here, Zeons, you take one. You obtain the town map. Thank you, friend. Hmm. Well, according to the town map, I guess uh, Orberg City is where I should be going next. There's a gym, so it'd be perfect for racing the Pokemon I just caught. Well, I'm on the road to becoming the greatest trainer of all time. See you around. All right, bye. If you turn... Can I get her to turn around? I just want to point out... There we go. How crazy... Yeah, shut up. How crazy the uh, hair of the ace trainers is. Like. Anyway. Get out of here. Yes, just harass children. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, you are a Pokemon trainer, but you don't have a Poketch yet. Poketch is short for Pokemon Watch. I'm not sure how you get that out of that, but sure. Uh, oh my, you're a rare case indeed. Why, because I have brains? Uh, you see, I invented and now manufacture Poketches. Not only that, I am now conducting the Poketch promotional campaign. All you have to do is find the three clowns in Jubilife City. If you can find them, I'll give you your very own Poketch. Okay, well, they're stupid easy to find, so... Hi, I'm the Poketch campaign clown. Let's roll out my question. Uh, Pokemon Grow by defeat. Yes. Yes, Pokemon Grow by getting experience. We all know that. And then we go this way and talk to this dingus. Hi, I'm the campaign clown. Let's roll up my question. Can Pokemon hold an item? Yes, they can. Coupon three. And then right over here. Uh, like, yes, moves also have types. So there you go. Easiest quiz in your life. Yes, yes, and yes. All right, leave me alone. Give me the stupid watch and I can go about my day. 
Okay, let me count your coupons. I'll just pull out my Pokech here and one, two, three, bravo! I say bravo! In return for these coupons, I present you with this Pokemon Watch, or Pokech for short. You received a Pokech. Thank you. You can add apps to your Pokech to make it even more versatile. Uh, yeah, 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 go away. Go away! Thank you. Now, I will say, I actually do like how they did the uh, Pokech in in this without the in the switch without the screen. Leave me alone, dingus. Hey Zeons, tell me you got a little tougher. Well, just a little bit. Me? Do you even need to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, let's battle it out. Fair enough. I just want to catch an Abra, bro. Aw, oh, I should have switched out uh, to what's-his-face first. Meh, whatever. We'll just eat fizzles out there real quick. Beep. The Intimidate will kind of protect us from the attack, so whatever. Holy crap, ass because I did a lot. Fair enough. Thundershock is a special attack, so it doesn't affect us at all. But it sure affects you. Oh, and you're paralyzed? We got the paralysis. Don't get cocky, kid. This isn't over yet. Well, it kind of is, but whatever. Boom! There we go, there you go. Starly fainted. Hey, they both got levels up. Well, that's why it's taking so much damage. Her defense sucks. So now Chimchar, yes, we will put Tina in there. Just because Fizzles is really hurt. I don't know, I think Chimchar's attack is too high for her to be able to take a hit. Level 9? Damn! You did just as much training as I did. Alright, that's okay. I don't know why I used to Leaf Age. I knew it wasn't effective. My brain's not here, clearly. Alright, that's fine. Keep leering. I'm okay with that. Wow, that did like nothing. Okay, yeah, if you want to just keep spamming Leer. My Pokemon's HP is low. This could be a type. Uh, how much... Yeah, let's reset uh, Tina's stuff and get the Intimidate on him. Hopefully he just uses Leer again. And then we can just swap back out to Tina. Okay, there we go. Good. You use Leer. That's perfect. Okay, now we can throw Tina back in there. Without worrying about having... Uh, Times four defense reduction. Yeah, see, there we go. And now he effectively has a growl on him, so it works out perfect. Now go ahead. I'm fine with that. You'll be dead before you actually get enough leers. Eh. One leer is alright. That, that effectively just means his attack is at normal, because... We, he got the Intimidate, and he got the Leer, so, you know. Holy crap. That was, uh, yeah. There we go. Tina Learn Growth. Fizzle's grew to level 8. That's... Divide that by 2, and that's okay. As long as it's not 0. I mean, Defense got 1-0, so that sucks. Fizzle's Learn Charge. 
Defeated Pokemon Trainer Sam. What just happened? I lost? Yeah, genius. That's how battles work. You either win or you lose, man. You can't win them all. Wow! What do you mean I lost? Well, that's it. That's the last time I'll ever lose. That's not even close to accurate. I'm going to be the world's toughest trainer, and you know it. Uh, the first thing to do is to take on the Orberg City Pokemon Jam. I'm going to toughen up for that totally. Okay. Bye. I am going to try to catch an Abra before it gets too late in the evening. Wow, we simultaneously train up a little bit. Abra will give us an edge. I mean, it sucks that we can't get Alakazam, because, you know, trading, but... I mean, I suppose like, I could buy my son a Switch and just uh, use his Switch to trade, but whatever. We're not going to worry about that. Abra! There you are! What level? The lower the level, the better. Um, I just want to see quickly. 12. Okay, well let's... This one's a level 5, so let's kill him. Just to get the- because, uh, killing Abras gives special attack. Eevees, so... And Abra has z negative physical defense. Okay, zero for defense again. That's- we're, we're gonna have to fix that. She needs defense Eevees really bad. Which is okay, because so does Abra, so it works out. I know you can get Abra's at like level 3 here, so I'd prefer that. That's alright, Shinx is attack EVs, we need that as well. Oh nice, one hit. And it wasn't even a crit, nice. Cool beans. Alright. Any luck, a lower level Abra. Or speed EVs, okay, I'll take it. That's the problem with learning about the uh, IVs and EVs, is you stop seeing Pokemon as Pokemon and start seeing them as EVs. Or at least that's what happened to me anyway. I don't know, let me know in the comments if, uh, you know, you see it the same way. Or maybe you don't even know about the IVs, EVs. I would recommend not learning about it. Because once you, you know, it's, it's like I said, it's the kind of thing, once you see it, you can't unsee it. So you know when a Pokemon really, really sucks, and then you're just like, ugh, oh, it sucks. You know? And it's really depressing. But... It is what it is. It, at least, like I said, it really doesn't... In the grand scheme of it, as far as, like, the the um, game goes, the story and whatnot, it doesn't make much of a difference. But it's only really in competitive that it really makes much of a difference. Things like Battle Tower and, obviously, PvP. So, you know. But since I don't participate in PvP... And I've only ever done the Battle Tower stuff in Pokemon Shield. I really don't care about it. Can you please give me an Abra that's low level? I mean, I'm happy for the speed EVs, but come on. I would appreciate your cooperation. Starly must have pretty good defense. It's three hits instead of two. Or I guess I could just have uh, good health IV. 
Oh, zero for speed, but three for defense. That's, you know, it's pretty good, damn good. I think, is it three that's the max? Or five that's the max? I can't remember. I don't know, I play too many games like this. I want to say three is the max, but that could just be because I've played Battle Brothers so much. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. At some point. Okay, that's like four Starlies in a row. I need you to stop. <laughs> I need you to give me someone besides Starly, please. Come on, man. Just to Abra, please. That's... that's not an Abra at all. Like, at all. Well, I guess. I suppose since we're, it's not going to give us an Abra, we could go get one of our other team members. And before you complain at me, in the comments, yes, I know all of the Pokemon I like really suck. I mean, not not Abra. Abra's really good, but Abra's a glass cannon. We're gonna go catch a Zubat, since apparently we're not gonna get an Abra. So I might as well just grab a Zubat real quick. Um, can I don't think I can get by her without... Turn the other way. Turn the other way. Come on. There we go. Turn the other way, kid. Aha! We did it. Let's grab that. Give me a Zubat, please. Okay, preferably a lower level Zubat. Uh, Leaf... Leafage, I believe, because it shouldn't be super effective. Wow, that did nothing. Okay, uh, I'm gonna beat up the Zubat, just because I just noticed- oh, okay, yeah. That- well, it wouldn't have matter what I wanted to do. Yeah, just because I noticed it was a female, I've already got two females, and because of attacks like Charm and shit, I, you know, I try to have a balance of males and females on my team. It gets really annoying when you get stuck against, you know, a, a stronger Pokemon or Gym Leader or whatever, and they just keep using stuff like Attract. And then you're screwed, because all your Pokemon are the same gender. It's awful. Nope. Please give me a male Zubat. I would appreciate it. I know it's 50-50. Ah, You jerk. I'm just gonna switch, because I don't trust it. I have really bad luck with my Pokemon hurting themselves in confusion. On the bright side, though, I have really good luck with, uh, I have really good luck with, um, Supersonic actually hitting. So, it's like 55 accuracy or something like that. Boom. Enjoy that. I guess the smart thing to do would be to put Fizzles in front, and then and we can quickly dispatch the Zubats we don't want. I believe they all have inner focus. But it doesn't matter, because yeah, we'll see right away because of that. Can you actually give me a, a fucking male Zubat, please? I'm trying to balance my team out here, game. Why won't you just give me the things I want? 
Oh, and it was a crit too. Nice. Bye. Ah, uh, Fizzles. You are awful, my friend. You are awful. Well, that's unfortunate. It's alright. We're not going to worry about it too much. Come on, man. I just want a male Zubat, please. I don't feel like I'm asking for a lot. It's a 50-50 chance. I just want to balance my team out, man. And we can easily do that by catching a male Zubat and a male, um, Abra. Okay. Thank you! Uh, do we dare one tackle? Yeah? One tackle should be fine, right? There we go. I'm fine with that. Too bad we didn't have paralysis or something. I mean, it's Zubat, so, you know, whatever. Click. Thank you. The bat Pokemon. Even though it has no eyes, it can sense obstacles using ultrasonic waves it emits from its mouth. Zubat is always Croesus. Always. Has been since I was a kid, and will continue to be until I die. Alright, now let's try to not get a Pokemon battle. I mean, not, not a Pokemon battle. I don't care about a Pokemon battle, but I mean a trainer battle. Now, if we can quickly catch a Zubat, or not a Zubat, a, um, uh, Thing Jigger, Abra, sorry. Then we can have four of our 16 members. Goodbye. And I, I never checked, uh, Krosis' stats out. Stay looking that way, thank you. Look the other way. Thank you. Now look the other way. Look the other way. Come on. Thank you. There we go. We have escaped. Okay, now let's quickly grab ourselves an Abra. Oh, uh, let's switch back to Tina. We're all pretty worse for wear, but, you know, whatever. I'm so done with Starlies now, it's not even funny. I I'm tired of seeing Starly. I need you to give me someone who's not a Starly. It's starting to hurt my feel-feels. Hurting me right in the feel-feels, man. I mean, it's whatever. It's not that big of a deal, but... It's just slightly annoying. We'll try one more battle, and then we'll call it a day. Of course it's a Starly. Apparently it's a Starly day today. Yeah, yeah, growl, growl, all you want. And then we'll give you a tackle, and we'll be done with you. And that's that. Aww, oh, the defense is awful. Croesus learned Astonish, okay, that's alright. Gives us an option against ghosts. 
All right, let's run back and heal. Get some healage in our life. There we go. There now that we get some healage in our life. Uh, anyway, we're going to end this episode here. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time when we try to catch an Abra.